In this video, I want to start creating a function. I want to create a function that handles authentication of the user. Okay. I want to check whether I want to check to make sure that the cookie exists or the cookie with the name of token. And if the user with the key value of, uh, of user exists as well, I want to have these two checks confirmed and valid. And if that's the case, then I'm going to return the user that's stored that that exists inside the local storage. Okay, so let me go ahead and start creating this function. And I'm going to build that or create that inside uh, alongside with the set authentication below it. And I'll do export cons. And I'm going to call it is authenticated. It's not going to take any arguments. And I'm going to make use of the two functions that we have. One, uh, this function here, get local storage, and also this one right here, get cookie. Okay. So if so, I'm going to have to import those. So over here, I'm going to do get cookie, and for local storage, get oh, yeah, get local storage. Okay. And I want to make use of them here. So I'm going to start with the cookie. I'm going to do, but I'm going to make a conditional check. So it's going to be if get cookie, and then the cookie name should be token. That's what we called it when we set it over here. And get local storage. And we called it user right over here when we set it, it was called user. So if these two conditions are met, then I'm going to return get local storage user. User. So this will return the user object. Otherwise, we're just going to return false. Okay, so we have the function created. Uh, okay, so let's mark that off. Or oh, I should have marked that off. I still have, I have to take care of something here. I have to actually implement it and use it here. So in the sign in component, over here in this, uh, right below set authentication, where we dealt with, uh, where we actually place the token and the user in their appropriate places inside the cookies in local storage. Right below that, we are going to create a conditional check um, to use that function. But we have to import that first. And we can import that here. We're going to do is authenticated. OK. So going back, uh, going back, OK, right here. So I'm going to do if is authenticated in parentheses because it is it's a function and oops, and is authenticated parentheses dot row is equivalent to one now Remember the reason why I am able to do this chain this uh, chain this row property is because when uh, when I created the is authenticated function here, I'm returning the get local storage and this get local storage is returning the user object. Okay, so I can make use of I can get access to all the properties of that that user. Okay, so I do I chain on dot row and I'm checking if it's equivalent to one, indicating that it would be an admin. So if it is, if that is the case, then I want to do here, I want to do console log redirect to admin dashboard. Or let me do redirecting to the admin dashboard. Otherwise, it means it's just a regular user. So I'm just going to do console log 
redirecting to user dash dashboard. Okay. Now this is going to be our conditional check to determine how we're going to redirect the user. It's going to be one or the other, one of these. Okay. So if it could be either a regular user or it could be an admin user and redirect them to the appropriate place. Right now we haven't set up the functionality to actually redirect them to uh, the appropriate dashboard. But right now for testing purposes, we were console logging so we can test this out. Um, but let me mark off here, uh, create is authentic function. Okay, so we created the function. And what I want to do now is I want to delete a redirect redirect to dashboard component state property. Now, what is that? That's over here in the signing component. Remember, we, we set up this property here. And I was thinking back then when I first set up this component, that I was going to use this property as a means to, uh, to deal with to deal with the redirecting, but we don't need it. We already uh, set up our function, and and then as I mentioned over here, we're doing our checks over here to to handle the job of redirecting the user. So I can. So let's go ahead and delete this this property. And by the way, that's an, another reason why I'm sure maybe you guys been see, probably been annoyed by this uh, warning message that says redirect to dashboard design but never used. Um, that's that's not a big deal, but it's just annoying to see it. Um, and so uh, so you so you can rest assured that now uh, we're, that 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 little warning message is going to disappear now that we're getting rid of it. So so delete it from there, and also when we just destructured it, we also used it here. So make sure you delete that from here. So if I save, you should see this warning um, message go away. You see? All right. So um, all right. So that's taken care of. All right, and finally testing. Let's go ahead and test this and make sure that this actually this is working. All right. So here. Um, we have two possibilities, right? Either an admin or a regular user. Now, if I look into my database, right now I have only one user that's created. It's John Doe, and he's a row of zero. So he's considered just a regular user, a signed in, logged in, or yeah, registered user. Okay, um, so I'm going to test for this first. Okay, so my assumptions is right now this conditional check is going to run and it's going to check if row is equal to one and it should not run this instead it should run this else block which is going to redirect to the user dashboard okay so let's go check that out um over here we have john doe okay and i have the his password so if i sign in um let's first go to network tab let's start off there okay Okay, so here we got the response from the server, and this is John Doe's information. This is his email, his row, and remember, we're getting back from the server that he's a row number one. Now, if I console in the console log, look what I get: redirect, redirecting to user dashboard, and that's correct. I mean, he is just a regular user. Okay, all right, so that's that's good. We've done that check, but we also want to do a check to make sure that the admin condition works, right? So uh, if it is an admin, a valid admin, we want to redirect them to the admin dashboard. Okay, but the problem right now is that we only have one user that's created inside our dashboard, and it's John Doe with this regular user. So what I'm going to have to do is create another user with, with an admin, with uh, the role of admin. Okay, so I'm going to use my my application, our applications that we've created thus far, and let's go ahead and um, go to the sign up component and let's create a new user. I'm going to do Jane Doe and change the email to Jane Doe at gmail.com, and the password I'm going to is is going to be the same, but uh, just it's going to be A B C one two three. A, B, C, one, two, three. It's the same as John Doe's. And any user, they could have the same password. It doesn't it, it, That's fine. There's no issue there. The main thing is that when a user, new users registers, they have to have a unique, G, uh, a unique uh, email. All right, so let's go ahead and create uh, Jane Doe. 
sign up registration success please sign in all right great so let's go sign in all right right here all right so in summit console or let me yeah instead of console i should when i register as jane doe i should see uh redirecting to admin dashboard right because she oh nope actually i may I, I i take that back um okay well first of all let's refresh the database we should see that jane doe is created okay we have a yeah okay so now we have john doe and jane doe um inside our database but look because default by default um all users are created with the role of zero okay so um the way we're going to make Jane Doe an admin is we're going to have me as that uh, admin user or the person who's managing the website. Uh, you could do this through, uh, uh, from the database yourself. OK, um, so the way you, you could do it, like in MongoDB here, um, let me open this. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. So you can go right here. I'm going to go Jane Doe and I can edit that value here. So row here. I'm going to change it from zero to one and I'm going to click update. All right. So now Jane Doe is officially an admin. All right. So now let's go ahead and test that Jane Doe is uh, that we redirect to the admin dashboard by using Jane Doe's credentials. So it was her, G her email was Jane Doe at gmail.com and it was the same as John Doe, but I'm still going to uh, uh, delete and uh, do A, B, C, A, B, C, one, two, three. All right. So the moment of truth, if I sign in, look at that, redirecting to admin dashboard. All right. And uh, look at this um, right now. I, see if I, if I sign in as John Doe, sign in redirecting to user dashboard okay because he's a regular user all right so now we have our logic uh in place uh to, to redirect them uh to redirect the person who's logging in to the appropriate dashboard uh to either an admin or a user dashboard all right so that is it for now all right guys so uh, i will be seeing you in the next video